Hello everyone, John S. Cougar here, and welcome to another video tutorial. Today's tutorial will talk about how to make Roblox stop motion videos. Stop motion is an animation technique which uses multiple frames of an object that gives the illusion of movement. This was generally used in making old cartoons before computers of today existed. Yep, imagine having to draw each frame by frame of a cartoon for a 15 to 30 minute episode. Very, very tiring work. Luckily, you don't need to do that. I also use it a lot on my King of the Hill music video, and a few scenes in Man's Best Friend. Here are the things you will need. So the first thing I would do is open Roblox Studio, and go to the place where the stop motion scene will take place. Then put yourself in the angle of the object you want to stop motion. I would use this model as an example. Now before I even start taking any screenshots, I would like to have something that will return me to the angle I originally placed just in case I accidentally moved it from the original angle, which would make the scene look choppy if you try to stop motion it. I use Aussie Pig's Flamingo Cutscene Creator plugin. This tool will allow me to prevent this from happening. I will put a link in the description to where you can download it and with the instruction needed to install it. Once installed, six new icons should appear, but only two will be necessary for this. These will be what I call the Take New Cutscene Snapshot icon and the Recall a Scene icon. Click on the Take New Cutscene Snapshot icon and you should see these icons appear in the workspace inside the Explorer menu. They look like a small gray hand with a text box. These are called INT values. The more times you click, the more INT value is created and the longer the scene will take. But since we're doing stop motion here, I would say you just need to click it once. Now then. You will need to either select your regular move and rotate tools that is inbuilt in Roblox Studios, use the CMD UTL C frame plugin, or any other C frame tool that you use. For this, I will use the CMD UTL C frame plugin. I tend to use that a lot in many of the things that I make. I usually change the setting of the movement and rotation speed. For movement, I change it to 0.2 or 0.5, and the rotation speed, I usually have it to 5. Now that you're ready, Open up your screen recorder. I will use Fraps here and begin to take screenshots. As I move my character, I take a screenshot afterwards. Now only a few scenes left, and uh oh. I moved the camera around. Now I won't look right anymore. Sadface.png. Well, that's why I created a new capture scene. Then I click on the INT value, and now I click the recall a scene icon, and voila, back to my scene. This lets me continue to the scene instead of doing it all over again, which would be a pain in the batouche. Now that you have finished taking screenshots of your stop motion animation, you can drag wherever the screenshots were taken from and import it to the video editor that you use. I would use Sony Vegas as an example. Take note for Sony Vegas users, so it would be less time consuming. Go to Option, Preference, Editing, and then go down to where it says New Still Image Link. Then change it to 0.100. This will allow you to keep the important length of the image to the minimal, and not need to constantly resize each image. Then you position each screenshot to the way you want it to be to give the illusion of motion, fix any scenes that may look long or choppy, and finito. Here's the finished animation. It does take time to do to keep up with this precision, and sometimes needing to remake a scene might be necessary, but usually teaching you this, you won't need to have to do a lot of those things. Well that's all guys. If you liked this video, remember to give it a like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on my Twitter which the link will be in the description below. So thank you guys for watching, take care, and see you all later.